Hello and welcome to this Maths Tutorial video. In this video we're going to answer the questions from the worksheet Laws of Indices. If you haven't seen the worksheet then I suggest that you uh, click the link below, uh, access the worksheet and attempt the questions that this video relates to. So we're looking at the first set of questions on the first page of the Laws of Indices handout. So we're going to be looking at simplifying expressions uh, using the three laws of indices that we've got up here from a previous video. So question one on the worksheet uh, says, what is x cubed times x squared? What does that equal? So we know from our first uh, rule, from the first law of indices, that if we have x to some power m times x to some power n, then the resultant is x to the power of m plus n. So here we've got x to the 3 times x to the 2, so that's going to equal x to the power of 3 plus 2, and therefore we're going to end up with x to the power of 5. So the answer to the first question on the worksheet is x to the power of 5. If we now have a look at the next question, where we've got a to the 4 times a to the 4, so we've got a to the power 4 times a to the power 4. Again, we're going to use our first law of indices, and we're going to say that that will be equal to a to the power of 4 plus 4, which is going to equal a to the power of 8. So a to the 4 times a to the 4 gives us a to the power of 8. Let's have a look at the third question, where we've got x to the 3 times x to the 4. We're starting to see now how this is working, so we end up with x to the 3 plus 4, which gives us x to the power of 7. If you haven't got any of these questions right so far, I strongly recommend that you watch previous video in this series uh, relating how we arrive at these laws of indices, as this will really help you to get your head around this. So let's move on, consider question 4. We've got x to the power of 4 divided by x to the power of 2. Uh, now here we're going to use our second law of indices. So we've got x to the m divided by x to the n will give us x to the m minus n. So here these values become m and n and we end up with x to the power of 4 minus 2 and x to the power of 4 minus 2, uh, 4 minus 2 is obviously 2, so we end up with x to the power of 2, or x squared. Moving on to question 5, we've got x to the 9 divided by x to the 3, so x to the 9 divided by x to the 3, uh, that's going to give us x to the power of 9 minus 3, which gives us x to the power of 6. So that's the answer to question 5. So the next question that we're going to consider is uh, question 6, which is uh, x to the power of 5 divided by x to the power of 4, which looks like that. So again, using our second law of indices, we can say that that is equal to x to the 5 minus 4, which is equal to x to the power of 1. And next question 7, we've got x to the power of 3 divide, uh, to the power of 4. So x to the 3 to the power of 4 and then we end up with uh, x using our third rule of indices here x to the m times n. So that gives us x to the 3 times 4. So it ends up looking like this which gives us x to the power of 12, or x multiplied by itself 12 times. It's important not to lose sight of what we're doing here when we're looking at this. So what does this actually mean? Well, it means x times x 12 times, basically. We would have 12 x's all multiplied by each other. Let's look at question 8, which is x to the 5 and the whole thing raised to the power of 2. So we end up with x to the power of 5 times 2 which gives us x to the power of 10, x to the power of 10. And then finally, question 9, I've just got enough space left here. We've got x squared, or x to the power of 2, to the power of 6, which gives us x to the 2 times 6, 
and x to the 2 times 6 gives us uh, x to the power of 12. 2 times 6 is 12. So there we've got the answers for the first question on the Laws of Indices worksheet. As I say, if you haven't seen that worksheet, please download it uh, by clicking the link in the description below. And we'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much. Goodbye.